Hi guys, welcome back for this new video of my um, WordPress tutorials for beginners. I was thinking to move forward with the development of this plugin that we made in the past videos, uh, the Jobs Board plugin. And um, as you see here, I wrote inside the single page uh, template, so the single job.php um, template file inside the plugin folder, uh, a, this location, which is blank. And what I want to do is actually um, add the custom, um, custom field for this uh, post type and display in here a user interface section, a new section where we could specify the location of the job. So for instance, London, Norwich or wherever you want, uh, based on your job needs. And uh, for that, uh, I'm not going to write everything from scratch uh, because it's going to take a while, but I will refer to one of the plugins I wrote in the past, which is the uh, Fabio Plans. Uh, it's a plugin that I have on my website to show plans for development. And what I want to do is actually um, grab in the admin folder the meta box. So this is um, so this section I'm talking about uh, is called meta box, uh, and it's uh, let me see if there is nope. Uh, so it's called the meta box. It's where you can input different fields. You can add uh, your custom uh, fields for the post type. Um, they look pretty much these boxes. Uh, on sidebar where you can uh, add your own um, fields and improve the experience of the user either on the back end and on the front end. So let's do that. Um, so let's open Visual Studio Code. So here So in here, uh, I am I am inside the plugin folder. Uh, so plugins slash uh, jobs board, and there is a there is a terminal window where the web server is running. Uh, if you don't know how to run the web server, the internal internal WordPress web server, you can watch one of the previous videos. Uh, where I explain how to do that. Uh, so inside this folder, what I'm going to do is uh, to create a new folder. And cd into the meta boxes folder. And the folder is empty. Uh, we are going to create a new file. And uh, the new file is here and it's empty. Let's first create the open the PHP tag and in here we will uh, do a few things. So let's move this on the side and let's open the um, template uh, so the not the template uh, let's open these border play plate so let's use this as a border plate for our meta box so uh, first thing that we need to do is to add the meta box let's first copy the comments so we line up the steps that we need to take so the first thing is to add the meta box then we need to get the values from the meta box and then we need to save the meta box 
values. And let's see uh, what we need to do now. So the first thing that I see from this previous plugin I've built is that we need to, can you move this to the side? So the first thing that you need to do is to write a function in here to create the meta box. And so let's do that. And let's uh, use a prefix of uh, so the prefix that we used before for this job board plugin and it's jbfb underscore and then uh, the name of the function that we want to call uh, I'm gonna call it job job meta box meta box open the parentheses and we don't need to pass any parameter inside the parentheses and from now we need uh, so there is a screen variable which is actually a, um, a list of post types where we want to attach this uh, new custom field and in our case the uh, post type is going to be only one uh, but it needs to be inside an array uh, so we can loop over in case we want to add more um, in the future. Uh, I'm gonna call this uh, variable post types. So this time I'm gonna call it post times post types, and the post type is gonna be the job post type. So the post type that we defined in the, one of the previous videos, and then we will loop over each of the elements inside this array, in this case it's only one, but you get the idea, and then we will call the add meta box WordPress function to add the actual meta box to our page. So this is gonna be add, add meta box. So this is the function, and if you have WordPress snippets added to your um, Visual Studio code, uh, by here, so from the extensions you can look for WordPress snippets and you should then see, be able to see um, some of uh, the commands that you can use, some of the functions and how to use them. Uh, so in our case we will call the add meta box function which, has, uh, which once has parameters a title, uh, so an ID, a title and a callback function and then uh, what else? Callback arguments. And the context. So this context here. And let's do that. Not meta box. And we will open quotes and say, uh, so for the unique ID, I'm going to use the prefix that we used here. Well, so let's first prefix the name of our unique ID metabox element. So it's going to be um, JBFB uh, job ID, and that's going to be the ID. Uh, then uh, a description, so a title for the um, Metabox, so we need to describe what Metabox, Metabox does, and in this case, it's going to be um, job details. Could be like job location uh, because we will only create single uh, custom field here now. But if you want to add more custom fields um, inside the same Metabox, you could all these job details and uh, that will serve the purpose of also their input fields. So now we need to pass a callback function. Um, am I wrong? Yes, okay. We need to pass a callback, for callback function. Uh, this function is going to be the function that we will write um, just after this one and where it will be where we will create the actual markup for the elements so 
um, gonna call it JBFP, so the prefix of the plugin that we will use all over uh, our plugin files. And then I'm gonna call it a job metabox HTML and then comma. We need another parameter which is the post type. And <clears throat> so we need to pass the post type here, and it's gonna be. I forgot to loop over this. Uh, all right, I'm gonna do that in a second. So the post type is gonna be post type, the post type variable, which isn't defined yet, but I'm going to do that immediately. So for each, give me a for each loop. So for each post types, as post type, and and we will copy that in here and we forgot to close this with the um, semicolon and that's it for this function we need to call the action so we need to use the add action function and in here we need to um, specify the tag for this action to happen and in this case it's going to be at meta boxes let me copy that and it's going to be a string then we will need to um, tell to our action what function it needs to call and it's going to be this one and we do it like we do it like that so now um, the first function for the metal box is done uh, and then we can save it let's check if there is something in our screen then so let's refresh the page we didn't write any logic for the actual HTML, but we just registered the actual um, meta box, but it's not gonna it's gonna it's not going to appear yet. So let's keep coding. So now what we need to do is actually get the meta box values. So we will need to write this function, uh, this one because we need to output for the meta box the actual um, input field so let's do that function it's gonna be the function this function is gonna uh, need a parameter which is the post so dollar sign post and then we need to do a couple of things first we need to call the WP nonce field to add a nonce, uh, which is a um, which is a security um, string of text that we need to pass to the uh, function, so we can validate our inputs. If you look here, so. The nonce field is used to validate that the contents of the form uh, come from the location on the current side and not from somewhere else. Uh, so you can read more about uh, the WP nonce from the documentation or if you have the snippets, uh, you can just scroll here and read the docs from the, um, from, from the ID. So we need to change these. Uh, so the, non, the WP nonce field is going to need name, so the nonce that we will see, that we see here, and this name is going to be file, so let's change this to 
something that has more sense based on our plugin. So in front of the mm, underscore nonce, you can uh, type your prefix and the um, in this case um, the job uh, post type, which is um, what I'm doing here. So I want to uh, refer to this nonce as jpfb underscore job underscore nonce. And then now uh, we need to uh, write a get post meta function. Let's let's copy that. So this is gonna be value of location. So we said that we want to add the location uh, input field to our um, custom post type, and that's that's what we are going to do. Let me copy that. So this is going to be job location. This is going to be our um, key. So what you need to pass here to this get post meta is the post ID and the key that you want to register for this custom post. Uh, so for this custom field, um, and then whether or not it's single, uh, and you can see here is so if the single value which is a boolean is true uh, it returns only the first value for the specified meta key so if the meta key has more than one value uh, you will only get one value if uh, otherwise if you want all of the values that you, that you specify inside it you need to set these to false for now it's fine for us uh, to set it to true and so now we need to add some HTML markup so let's close the PHP tag and then um, we will reopen it just under just before the closing uh, parenthesis here uh, for our function and in the middle here we will be able to write HTML uh, code uh, what I'm going to do is just grab this one. As I know, it's just going to be a text field. So this group uh, will be just a text field. What we need to change is this, um, is this value here. So the ID, the name, and the um, and the label for um attribute uh, so that's going to be job location so job location we need also to change the label and The area described by uh, it's going to be at uh, the location uh, and then we need to change the placeholder because we want uh, to show inside the input field a um, placeholder like London and then we need to change the value of this variable which is the actual value of the input field and that should be the value location variable which we defined before so that's going to output the actual value of the uh, so when we when you set this input field and then you save and refresh the page you will see the value of the element that you already set because here we use the get post meta to grab the meta with this with this key uh, which is attached to the current post so in this case the post is the job 
um, custom post type that we defined and after that we will be able to see its value so and in here we need to change the description of this field so add the location for the current job that's what I'm going to call it that's pretty much it for this function and uh, we can move to the final function which is this function save meta box values so the save meta box values is another function that we need to define and we will we as you see here we have three variables the first one is is auto save with which is uh, which is which stores the value of this uh, WP is post auto save uh, and then is a revision which stores the value of is post revision so it checks if there if it's an auto save if it's a post revision and if the nonce is valid by checking if the um, value of this input field uh, with the nonce value uh, key is present in the post request and it validates it and uh, in here we will we will use um, an if um, clause to check if the uh, if it's an another save or an, an a revision or the nonce is not valid and in this case we will do nothing so we will just return and in case uh, this um, key exists, so the key that we define here, uh, if this key exists, we want to call the update post meta, which actually updates the meta and posts um, and send this post request to the database and stores or updates the actual value of this key that we defined. So let's um, write this function and make some changes. So it's going to be jbfb underscore job save post meta post data skip the same and this function wants post ID, so I'm going to write a post ID variable uh, parameter, and then we can copy this tree and make some changes. So we can copy this tree. Um, this is not valid nonce um, key that we wrote up here so let's go up and check for the file the nonce field so wp nonce field that we wrote here this one and this is the key uh, that we need to refer for our nonce and it's gonna be that and we need to change also in here and we can keep everything as it is so now that we have all the checks that we need so we are checking if it's not an unsafe or any revision or the nonce is not valid and in this case we will just return where our code is not going to do not anything uh, otherwise so if we have a valid um, key in the array so we will use in, inside an if block uh, we will use a ray key exist another function uh, that lets us check if a, um, a specific key is in um, inside an array so the key that we want to check is not this one but it should be so our key so our key is the one that we define here for our label is actually the name of the input plum price so we want to check if this one is inside the post request 
uh, that is made to our server and if so we will call the update post meta which wants the post id the meta key and the meta value so uh, the meta the post id is going to be this post id parameter and we will call it here the the next value is the meta key so the meta key is going to be the one that we defined um, here so get post to meta this is the meta key that we are defining and it's going to be just like that so that's going to be our meta key so that's how we want uh, the um, field in our database table uh, look like so when we look for inside this um, post meta uh, database table we will see uh, this uh, field uh, and this field is gonna have the value that we will pass uh, when we fill the input field over here inside the admin panel so we need to change this as well and it's going to be the same and now we need to do one last thing and call another action so we need to add an action and this action is going to have so first is the tag and say post and then we need to use this function name as a callback and that's pretty much it the final step so we created a meta box of course is not gonna appear yet inside our administration panel and I'll tell you why in a second. So if we refresh the page for our custom post, why do you take so long? So um, let's go to all jobs and open a different job. So there is nothing here. If we open this um, backend developer uh, job that we created in previous videos and we look at our admin panel so in here we don't see anything so we don't see our um, new meta box so it's it's nowhere and the reason is that so the reason is this simple as is uh, we didn't refer anywhere to this file Inside our main entry point so if we open the main plugin file which is the jobs board plugin file so jobs as uh, under uh, job slash dash uh, board dot php so that's dash in the middle um, we need to refer to it somewhere in the code and we will do it here so we can call the require um, and say that we want a meta box and meta boxes so the require actually is not is not a function not, I don't know why I wrote it like that, but it still works. So um, forever. If you follow the WordPress codex standards, that's gonna be an error. Uh, but it still works. Uh, the correct way to write this is like that. So let's check now. Let's refresh the page and see if we did everything correctly. We should see a new element appear here and under the body of our post. And 
let's see, yes. Okay, so we have these uh, job details. It's a new meta box, so we can open and collapse it. So if we add a lot of more fields, we could um, collapse them like that. And we see we have job location and our uh, field description, and we can input whatever we want here. So let's say knowledge and let's update the post and see if it works correctly. So the post is updated and uh, knowledge is still here. Let's view the post and refresh this page to see if we will see knowledge here. So you see it persists. So um, we wrote it. Uh, so we filled this field, this custom field, and we updated. So we have sent a post request to our server, and it updated our database, and um, and then it fetches again uh, the content of this input field and it outputs here. So if we need to change this to something else. Um, London um, East, for instance. I don't know if London East is something real or not, but just to show you that it works even if we update its content. And now, um, just after it refreshed this page, I'll show you what we need to do on the front end. So you see it's updating correctly, so everything in the back end works fine. And let's go in the front end and see now. So we, I wrote this um, this text inside the uh, this template file uh, just to um, select the location where I want to output this uh, location input field. So the custom input field, uh, but there is nothing in here because I didn't write anything except this. Um, piece of text so let's do that uh, so what we need to do now is to open up the single uh, template file which is inside our templates directory and let's see where I wrote the location so I wrote the location inside the content.php file uh, in the template parts folder if you don't know what it, what are these folders it's because you didn't watch the previous video where we actually set up all this stuff so make sure you watch them um, and uh, where I wrote it so I wrote this um, development uh, with um, with the location text uh, just before the output of the taxonomies so just before outputting the taxonomies onto the page. So before this line of uh, text, we want to show the location. What we need to do now, let's actually, uh, let's set a strong element and in here, let's open up a PHP tag. So in here, we need to use a function to fetch the key that represents the location in our database. So the meta key uh, for this meta for the custom for this custom meta box field. So we uh, need to grab the same uh, the same key which we defined here. And if I'm not wrong, the function is the same could actually copy it from here because we output the content of the custom field in the same way. So we go here and now we just copy this function like that and we need to add an echo, stay an echo and just echo out the, uh, the result of calling this get post meta and let's refresh the page and see if it works and it's fine okay 
So we have successful. I don't, I don't like this. Uh, write this in this way. Let's say that it's a paragraph. And let's do it like that. It's similar to this one on it. So, okay. So we have successfully added a new custom. Uh, field to our custom post type and we have updated the template file for the single post um, to show the location uh, for our job and if we look at our uh, job posting now it looks much better so we have the title we have the date when we posted the job we have a short description we can add more information here of course it has just uh, some random text and then we have the location of the job and the skills required for the job we missed for this one a the category for instance if we want to say software engineering and update the post and then we refresh this one we will see other than so not just the skills but also the job category where we posted this job so we have the location we have the job category and the job skills uh, so the skills required for the job uh, that's it for this video that's all i wanted to show you uh, in the next video probably we will um, Add a new field we could add a new field uh, for instance an expiration date so closing date for the job so um, the users knows when to submit their posts their um, CV for the job there is a lot a uh, lot of more that we could do for this plugin for instance uh, a new, a new a button here where the user could uh, submit to so a form for the user to fill its name uh, and so it's information probably here on the side of this single uh, job template where the user could input na its name, last name, email address and submit a CV so that we receive it and we know that he applied for the job uh, we might do that more you could just implement that I'm sure you can find a way to do that I would probably use a a form plugin like uh, what was the name um, what was the name of the forms plugin custom forms I can't remember I've just can't remember okay anyway um, so uh, one more thing uh, before closing up for this video um, we could do another thing and I might do that in in the next videos uh, so when we look at the home page of our uh, website so this is going to be just a website that shows jobs uh, using the jobs plugin and uh, what we could do is have here a just a banner and in here a search a search form where the user could type the location and the uh, job title that he wishes to uh, look for and then just press the uh, a button where we say search for the job and then uh, we show to the user a list of all the jobs related to its uh, search query um, we could do that and that's probably going to be one of the uh, next thing that we will do so probably we will edit the uh, so the front page of our website now it says it's singular template but since we are looking at the front page of the website the first um, template file in the hierarchy is the front 
dash page.php file and if we create that we will be able to override this page and show wherever we want onto the page and that's it for this video if we if you liked the video uh, leave a like or if you have any question just uh, drop a comment on the uh, under the video uh, in on youtube and i'll see you in the next video cheers